preview of what the chorus sounds like. You should know this. This is like the most uh, like famous part. It's like, why you gotta be so rude? That part, okay? So it goes like this. That's it, that's the chorus, okay? So, really catchy chorus, obviously. Let's go ahead and learn. Okay, right hand, it goes... Okay, remember, before we start learning the chorus, remember, we're in the chorus now. So the four chord series comes back, which is the G flat major, A flat major, D flat major, B flat minor, and the left hand. So you just remember that, and it will be a lot easier for you to learn, okay? So right hand first, it goes four A flats up here, so middle C, C, A flat. There's a high A flat, four of them. So it goes one, two, three, four, and then two D flats, and then F and then E flat D flat like that and then it goes up to the four A flats again one two three four and then two D flats and then F E flat D flat essentially yeah that's the first part okay essentially you can see that there's a motive just played twice in this first part so the motive is just four A flats one two three four and then two D flats and then F E flat D flat repeat that whole motive again and then it goes one two three four D flat D flat F E flat, D flat, like that. Okay, so that's the first part for the right hand. Easy, because it's just like a motive times two times. Anyway, so the left hand, you know, it's a four chord series, G flat major, A flat major, D flat major, and B flat minor. With that in mind, we're gonna easily put the two hands together now. So, the first part of this chorus goes like this. Right hand starts, I mean not right hand, left hand starts first with the G flat major chord, then right hand comes in, so like, here. And then D flat and A flat major chord together. Of the D flat, D flat major by itself. Comes in and then D flat and B flat minor chord together, just like that. And you can see the pattern as well. Okay, let's do it again. So, the first part of the chorus goes here, together, here, two, one, two, three, four, together, just like that. That's the first part of the chorus. Okay, now the second part of the chorus, right hand goes once again, it goes four A flats, one, two, three, four, and two D flats again. And then F, E flat, D flat. And then here's the I'm gonna marry her anyway, that part which is six D flats, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then C and two D flats. Okay, so that's the second part, okay? So let's do it again, the second part. So the, it begins with that why well, you gotta be so thingy. So it goes four A flats, one, two, three, four, two D flats, and then F, E flat, D flat. And now we have six D flats in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then C, and then two D flats. Like that. Continuously, okay? So that's the right hand. Once again, the left hand you know already, which is the four chord series. G flat major, A flat major, D flat major, B flat minor. You should be very good at this now because the verse, you already did it so much already. But anyway, put the two hands together for the second part of the chorus. It goes like this. G flat major by itself, and right hand comes in. D flat and A flat major chord together. After the D flat, D flat major chord by itself, and the right comes in. One, two, three, and on the fourth, D flat, B flat minor chord together. One, five, six, and C, D flat, D flat, like that. Okay, let's do it again. So it goes here, together, here, together, like that. Okay, so that's the second part of the chorus. Now moving on to the third part of the chorus is the marry that girl, that part, which is right hand, it goes E flat, F, D flat, A flat, and then three D flats, and then C, and then two D flats. Once again, we repeat that motive again, which is E flat, F, D flat, A flat, and then once again, three D flats, and then C, D flat, D flat, like that. So you can hear, it's just the motive time two times in total for this part. Okay, so let's do it again. This uh, third part of this chorus goes like this. E flat, F, D flat, A flat. And then three D flats, C, D flat, D flat. Repeat all that together. E flat, F, D flat, F, A flat, I mean. Yeah, and then three D flats. One, two, three, C, D flat, D flat, like that. 
here the motive times two. But anyway, with that in mind, put the two hands together like this because you know that the left hand is the G flat major, A flat major, D flat major, B flat minor sequence for this chorus. Okay, so putting the two hands together for this third part of the chorus goes like this: um, E flat and G flat major together. So it goes together, and then D flat and A flat major chord together. One, two, three, C, D flat, D flat, and then once again E flat and D flat major chord together. D flat and B flat minor chord together. One, two, three, da, da, da. like that. Easy. Okay. So one more time. So it goes together, 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 like that. Okay. So that's the third part of the chorus. Now, the fourth part of the chorus goes like this. It goes um, once again. It goes E flat, F, D flat, A flat, and then three D flats. C, D flat, D flat, and here it goes different, it goes up to the four A flats. Why you gotta? It's like A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, like that, and then two D flats. Yeah, okay, that's the fourth part of this chorus. Let's do it again. So it goes E flat, F, D flat, A flat, and then it goes three D flats, C, D flat, D flat, and then four A flats up here, one, two, three, four, and then two D flats, like that. It's the fourth part of the chorus, okay? Putting the sounds together goes like this, okay? So E flat and G flat major chord together. The D flat and A flat major chord together. After D flat, D flat major by itself. Right, comes in. D flat and B flat minor chord together. Like that. That's the fourth part of the chorus. Let's do it again. So it goes together. Together. Okay, now the fifth and last part of the chorus is interesting. There's five parts of the chorus, but anyway, it's just the root that part. Okay, so it goes our right hand goes F, E flat, and then quick of G flat, A flat, D flat. It's like like that, and then that's it. Okay, so let's do it again. The right hand just goes F, E flat, and then fast of G flat, A flat, D flat, like that. Okay, train your agility for that. Okay, anyway, the left hand once again, you know it, it's the four chords. Putting two hands together, goes like this, F and G flat major chord together. And then the fast G flat, A flat, D flat, the D flat is with the A flat major chord, so it's like, together, like that. And then D flat major by itself, one, two, three, four, and then B flat minor by itself, one, two, three, four, just like that, and that's it. Let's do it again, so the fifth and last part of the chorus goes like this, together, together. that's it for the chorus okay now we're gonna learn after this chorus it goes to the verse 2 I'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services as for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.